Hello everybody, my name is Aceface, welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. So recently, over the maybe last half a year or year, uh, I've been playing a lot of legitimate Star Maid play, uh, and I've been especially doing a lot of stuff when it comes to factions. And one thing I've learned over playing is that a really, really easy to make and efficient way to store your items and sort them at the same time. This is utilizing Star Maid's max stack of 2 billion and there's a w easy way which was developed by Matt Braddock, my friend uh, online, who uh, found out a good way and easy way to sort things when you store them. So let's get down to business. This is going to be a simple sorting system which can sort huge numbers of items and can assist your gameplay in many ways. So let's go down to business, okay? First you want to get to make a sort storage cluster. There's two parts to this, a terminal and a storage cluster. This is the storage cluster. Here's then the storage cluster, okay? So basically you have 20 storages with 35 slots in each storage. You do know that the max stack for each item is 2 billion and you, that's excluding multi-stacks. So you'll be able to store a huge amount of items in here. The only thing is, items tend to just, you know, just end up all over the place, so you can't utilize it. Well, I've found a way so that you make it so that no, I, you won't find, put a stop effect computer in here, and you won't find another one in another, in another storage. Basically, what you do is then, you go into the bottom right corner, okay? You shift V every single one. You do the same for each one except the last one. So you continue doing this. Because now all the items should now trickle through here and end up into this one at the bottom right. So you just continue doing that. Okay, so now that you've done that, you have to you have to now set it so that they actually will pull out everything you want. So first, go and click on Set All, and then copy 9999, and just do that for every single one. Okay, so now after you've done that, if you did this correctly, you should then happen that anything you put in any of these storages will move to the closest storage to this one. So if we should have, if we put the overdrive computer in here, the stop effect in here, should happen, end up in this one. It does. So this basically makes it so that you will not have two stacks of the same items, because I don't think many factions will have two billion, more than two billion of one item. Maybe shield capacities is another blocks you really need. But aside from that, you will be able to store pretty much everything you need in these 20 storage blocks. So, now that you've got this, how are we going to sort everything? How are we going to quickly access everything? Well, that comes to the second part. Here's the storage cluster. Now we're going to have to make the storage terminal. Put two storages like this, two display modules like this. One named a query box. second name the Dropbox. The Dropbox is what you're going to drop items into and it's going to just dump them in here. The Query Box is then the storage that will pull out items from here and you type in whatever you want into this storage and they'll pull it out from there. So we want to have it so that if we place something in here, we'll just dump it in here. The way we can do is that we just link each one to here. But a more efficient way would actually be to just link the one at the top, the one that's least probable to have an item in and just link it so it sucks out stuff from there because everything is anyway going to go down, 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 down and stop down here so may as well just suck everything from the top and it will go back down the items will go back down to the bottom <laughs> so when that is done you've got the Dropbox down so if we put there a storage uh, a stop effect computer in here just wait a little bit oop, it's gone and it should be in here that has to be activated. 
I have this habit of deactivating it, but they should all be activated. Now we've got our stop effect computer in here. So basically, it will do that to all your junk. Now we want to have the query box. Okay, we link that with Shift V to every single store block of the storage cluster. Now, if we then put all our junk in here, okay, it will boop, go away. Now, if we want to have a query box, we just add something and say, "I want to have jump drive modules. I don't want to have a hundred of them." Boop, there, there. That's how simple it is. How it is to sort your items. And this query box and drop box mechanism was made by Matt Braddock and is an ingenious, very, but very simple uh, invention which really speeds up uh, the way I sort things and other people do. Another use I found with this is then you could use this to easily make blueprints. Okay, you put three storages in here, then you put the display modules on top. So let's call this blue, blue. Print one. Let's call this blueprint two, and then call this blueprint three. Okay, so like that. Now, say we have a blueprint such as the maybe arc. Let's do a tie fighter. Here's a tie fighter. Okay, it has these blocks. Basically, what we do if we want to mass produce these tie fighters. We take a screenshot with F5 <coughs> of this, then we look at that picture, basically place all those items in here, in this certain amounts, and then click C on this and V on the whole storage clusters. Then if you have the necessary items, it'll just pull a whole TIE Fighter like this from the storage cluster and you can then very easily construct your TIE Fighters or whatever ships. If you're a big faction who just continuously will be dropping your miners, will be dropping items in here, your uh, pirate hunters, your PvPers will be just dropping all their stuff in here, you'll pretty, pretty easily be able to make certain blueprints. If we have, for example, a blueprint then that had a lot more than 35 items, which is the max amount of items you can have in here, you would then just have to simply go, let's just go on a random blueprint, Let's go Trident Cruiser. It has a lot of things, okay? I'm pretty sure this is more than 35. So basically we, we take the, a screenshot, and then a screenshot so we have the whole list. We take the, fir the first 35 items, put them in this storage here, into the menu. Then we make another storage, and we do the same with the next 35 items. And we just basically link all of them to the storage cluster. So they'll, they'll pull them up whenever we need to produce that blueprint. So this will make it so you won't have to search your whole uh, system for individually for like maybe a decorative panel or something that is very easily produced which you probably have a lot of from killing pirates. And will really speed up blueprint creation and uh, mass producing ships for factions. And you can obviously link your factory system to this as well. But that is nothing I really need to show you because that's quite basic. Anyway, that's it for this uh, video guys. I wanted to show you how I make sorting systems and it is a really nice system made by me and Matt Braddock. It is just, um, it is really, I find it really easy and logical to make and it's a lot easier than having to put lots of storages. Each one pulls out weapons and holes and that then blah blah blah. It just, it's so boring. Like it, you have to do that and it just takes so much time. Rather you have this and it takes a lot less time. I put this on ships and all different kinds of uh, things. For example, if I have my salvager here, I have my salvager, I just link my salvage to my, sal my storage cluster and all my items go into here and get sorted. And I, need, I can just take them whenever I need them. So that's it for this episode guys, thanks for watching, hope you like this, hope this helped you out. It's face, out. <laughs>